Hey, good people, it's Mad Train coming to you from Bear Valley Mountain Resort on Sunday morning, January 1st, 2017. Love saying that, man, and the new year. We are digging it. Hope everybody had a great time last night and ushering in the new year. So what is going on today? Well, right now it is beautiful, beautiful clear skies right now. Temps are hovering right around the 29 degree range. And we should see the high peak out at about 33 today and then start to drop somewhere right around two or so as this next system approaches. We'll see winds out of the south-southwest today anywhere from 10 to 15 with potential gusts up to 25 or so as that pressure gradient tightens up a little bit and the storm approaches. So what is going on? Well, the models have been in an interesting um, disagreement and agreement and then disagreement again. They're kind of fluxing back and forth with the system here. So that initial push of snowfall that we were looking at coming in later tonight into tomorrow has kind of dropped back a little bit. But then on Tuesday, it's going to ramp back up into Wednesday and stuff like that. So let's talk a little bit about that. Um, the snow totals for tonight, we could see maybe one to three inches tonight, another maybe one to three inches tomorrow. And um, then into Monday night, we could maybe pick up three to seven and then four to eight on Tuesday. Um, again, maybe see another three to five or so on Tuesday night and then Wednesday pick up another few more inches there. But again, those things are moving up and down. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with that. And a lot of that has to do with the cutoff low that just recently passed and this little bit of troughing action that's going on. But the big thing about this is that we're going to see a big injection of cold air from up in Alaska move into the area. So we're going to see snow totals. And, you know, initially with the system down to about maybe 2,000 feet, could drop a little bit lower in the northern part of the state, but we'll just see what happens with that. And then as Tuesday arrives, we're going to see a little bit more warmth with that, and those elevations should pump up to about maybe three to 5,000 feet at that time. But all said and done, we're probably going to pick up somewhere between 8, maybe up to 20 inches of snow over the next three or four days, and then continued snowfall is going to be pushing out through the end of the week into the beginning of the weekend next week. So digging it, man. Keep your fingers crossed. We're really stoked for that. Hopefully we'll get some more things online on the back side of the mountain. And um, the only way to find that out is just stay tuned. So where do you get all this information? You go to bearvalley.com. That's our webpage. We've got tons of stuff that's going on in there. So check that out. Also go to our Facebook page. Make sure you like us. Share us with your friends every morning, man. We're trying to grow our base. But um, that's where we got lots of stuff going on. You can see my weather reports at 5 a.m. And then again, right around 7 to 7.30 a.m. We see the video report with that. But it has been great for the season so far. We have a season total of 51 inches. For such a small amount of snow, we've got awesome conditions out here. The groomers have been able to do just a phenomenal job. You can see the snow gun that's back behind me. That's running as well as a bunch of others up onto the Super Cub chair over there. And um, so we're digging it. Um, we were able to get the Super Cub chair back online yesterday, so we're stoked about that if you guys had any questions or were wondering. But lots is going on, so come on up here and check out what we call Pure Mountain Fun. That is our ethos. And remember, Highway 4 is the easiest highway to travel. Access up to any ski resort on the West Slope. And we look forward to seeing you guys up here. Hope you have a great day, a great New Year's. Come on home and check us out. Peace out.